Hello guys, um, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to share with you um, this story and this information and I hope um, it will give you some idea of uh, how things are developing uh, recently. This is again in relation to the current events taking place in Ukraine. And I want to talk to you about this company called Clearview. So what, what is this company Clearview? This company is producing some face recognition software. And they are using uh, facial images, they say here, sourced from public only web sources, including news media, websites, public social media, and other open sources. At least that's why they are, what they are claiming to do. And so what this means is that they can use any photo that you displayed on your social media profile or in any other website that is uh, <coughs> publicly available or something that at least you have your the ability to enter whether you know the credentials and why or what are the purposes um, they are using for investigation of uh, major crimes, counterterrorism, conservation law enforcement, intelligence and crime, patrol security, law enforcement background checks and that's what they are doing they are <coughs> providing these services to law enforcement officially so this seems to be like um, legitimate use of technology but um, definitively an invasive uh, use of the technology and then they have here this disclaimer here you can see that that says exclusive Ukraine has started using clear views AI facial recognition during war and this leads us to this website uh, this is a piece uh, from Reuters and they say exclusive Ukraine has started using clear views AI's facial recognition during war and uh, what can go wrong with that no they are using it they this is what they say that um, they are using it to uncover Russian assailants, combat misinformation, and identify the dead. Nothing wrong with that, you will think, but let's dig into further. So Ukraine is receiving free access to clear views, powerful search engine for faces, letting authorities potentially vet people of interest at checkpoints among other uses. So the other uses part is the critical one. So you will think, okay, so um, the government of Ukraine has the ability to identify the dead people and maybe increase their security uh, with this kind of technology. But this has uh, like a big potential for misuse. And uh, <coughs> They say here, Clearview, it had not offered the technology to Russia. I wonder why, you know, if this has like a, such a neutral use, why they are not offering the technology to Russia, you know, if there is no potential for misuse, why wouldn't Clearview offer this technology, you know, to also allow Russia to identify possible, um, I don't know, dead soldiers or prisoners or some kind, well, they, they are just clearly saying they are not offering this technology to Russia. And the Ukraine's Ministry of Defense did not reply to requests for comment. So that's very, very interesting, as we will see later. And they are, this is the part that is uh, concerning for people that are living in Russia. They are starting to use um, photos from Russian social media service Bekontakte, which is the most popular 
social media in Russia and in many countries that used to be part of the Soviet Union and of course the usual um, sources like Instagram, Facebook <coughs> so they say that this can help Ukraine identify the dead more easily than trying to match fingerprints and works even if there is facial damage so this is the part that I, I question you know why wouldn't they want to offer this to Russia you know maybe they have one of their soldiers dead and he lost his identification why wouldn't they offer the, the opportunity to identify him or maybe a Ukrainian soldier that was dead you know so they can properly identify it no 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 option for that and uh, let's dig more into this um, they say clear view technology could be used to reunite families separated you know that like case of refugees identify Russian operatives and help government debunk all social media posts and this is the part that is uh, very interesting the exact purpose for which Ukraine's defense ministry is using that technology is unclear so we will have a piece of information that I will share with you which shows which is the real purpose of this technology and uh, just take a look at this. They say the VEC contact images make clear views that are said more comprehensive than that of the publicly available image search engine that have people used to identify in war. So they are supplementing it. Um, probably about 90% of the profiles in VEC contact are public. Mm, that means anyone can see them without restrictions uh, sometimes even without having an account in the website probably 90 percent of profiles are open so all those photos that are posted there are available facebook has demanded clearview to stop taking this data so um i assume there is no legal way to prevent them from doing it at least not not one that I can see you know if uh, <coughs> this public information is public and here is what they are saying that at least one critic says facial recognition could mis misidentify people at checkpoints and in battle mismatch could lead to civilian deaths you know? just like unfair arrests have arisen from police use so what they're saying is that um, this software clearview is not perfect you know? they can they can make mistakes probably is uh, very accurate but mistakes happen misidentifications can happen and they say we can see well-intentioned technology by backfiring I don't think this is completely accurate say well-intentioned technology maybe some kind of um, dual-use technology you know I couldn't say well-intentioned just dual-use you can use it for good or for harm so just so powerful that uh, you can have so many uses as you will see later <clears throat> and then the um, CEO of this company said uh, Clearview should never be wielded as the sole source of identification and here's the part that he said he will not want the technology to be used in violation of the Geneva Conventions which created legal standards for humanitarian treatment during war Wow that's that's very 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 accurate you know um, of course he tries to be responsible socially responsible saying that you know covering all bases and actually clear view is not at fault uh, they're just using a very powerful weapon information weapon you know, and uh, 
they are saying that Clearview sells these uh, primarily to US law enforcement and is already fighting lawsuits accusing them of violating privacy rights by taking images from the web. So this is, um, if you have ever used um, Google to search for images, this is how they are defending themselves. They are saying the clear view, using their image like uh, as innocently as Google search. If you can use Google search for images, you can find exact matches for images. This is how Google works. They recently, um, probably about four years or so, they um, changed the way Google search was uh, working because they were using approximate search. So if you had an image of a person, let's say a face, a selfie of some person, it was producing similar images, not just the image that was uh, being searched like an exact match, but it was showing photos of the same person that was not exactly the same photo. And they recently trickled down those matches so you can no longer use that in Google search Google image search but there are many other you know freely available image searches that use uh, more in more expansive searches but those are like publicly available but this is like premium service and they're using artificial intelligence you know, to that's what I'm saying here. Artificial intelligence to do facial recognition. So that means they can find all matches of what it looks like the face of the same person and try to match it to the original one. If, if you have ever used um, Google Photos with your own photos, there's an option um, that allows you to do facial recognition and they request uh, your permission to do this, you know, because it's invasive. They can find your photos in all kinds of places um, where uh, of photos that you have uploaded. Facebook has similar um, similar options. As far as I know, BK has a similar option. You can recognize uh, photos of your friends. So this is the similar thing, but probably this is more. I, I would say smarter, you know, like a premium service. So the, it is uh, military grade, uh, law enforcement grade technology. This is how how is this technology is working. And now let's see how this is currently being used. This is according to an article from the Washington Post, where it says using Ukraine is scanning faces of their Russians and then contacting the bars. How about that? No. Ukrainian officials say the use of facial recognition software could help end the brutal war. And they say that this is, uh, some experts call it a psychological warfare. That is a gruesome precedent. So this is uh, very, very concerning. Um, <clears throat> so this article from the Washington Post is behind a paywall. So if you don't have access to this, I will recommend you to use this website that is called Archive PH. And how it works is um, this is the original, the original article from the Washington Post. So this is the URL and it's behind a paywall so you need to subscribe you know, and that's how you will be able to use this uh, if you don't want to pay you can use this one and this is uh, crawling crawling the web for sources of information so if uh, something that you want to refer to is behind a paywall you can try to see if you can find it here. They have a search feature, so you just uh, paste here the URL you want to search. And if they have indexed that article, then you should be able to read it without uh, having to have a premium service on that particular website. And 
this is just awful absolutely horrible what they're doing just uh, incredible incredible story um, just harrowing uh, gruesome cruel uh, callous use of this technology and they are using it with the in there's an IT army thing that is called a volunteer force of hackers volunteers force of hackers you know so an activist as if that gives them some kind of credence some you know authorization to do what they are want what they want and they are following direction from the Ukrainian government see that and they say has used those identifications so they are using Clearview see they are saying here later the Ukrainians championed the use of face scanning software from the US tech firm Clearview as a brutal but effective way to stir up dissent inside Russia, discourage other fighters, and hasten an end to a devastating war. So, what they are doing is this pay attention to this because this is absolutely horrible. They are finding some Russian soldier dead, then they are using clear view software to identify the person uh, usually um, finding some posts in social media and then they are calling their mothers you know? just imagine that you know they are calling the mother and they are showing them the photo of their dead son they're saying okay this is your son here is his body and his dead and you know they are hoping that uh, people will be horrified and they will say okay let's stop sending our sons and to the conflict I don't think that's uh, how this is going to work this is um, absolutely barbaric and just really horrible you know and there, this is even more horrible because they can make mistakes you know they can call the wrong mother the wrong parents and say yeah here is your son he's dead and how do they know what is going to happen you know in the heart of a mother in the heart of a father how do they know if they are going to die of heart attack? how do they know if they will kill themselves often you know presuming that their son is dead maybe he isn't dead and and if he is dead e even more so you know how can they justify this you know but now uh, everything that Ukraine does is correct just because it's Ukraine hey let's jump on board I stand for Ukraine no that's what people say so what if the Russians were doing this you know people will jump and say oh this is uh, so horrible but no is Ukraine doing it then it's okay you know and they are doing it and they can use this tool whenever they want free of charge yay what can go wrong with that you know they can use it whenever they want so and there is no one that is preventing them for, from using them there is no ombudsman that is whether uh, checking whether it's uh, for a legitimate use or something you know it's uh, just absolutely you know and they, look at this what they are doing you know they just uh, are having oh wow moments like if it was something amazing you know how much data including family photos social media posts relationship details they could gather from a single cadaver's scan how about that you know and they don't stop there they go to your uh, all the people or your connections all your friends they can scan all your connections in social media and scan their profiles again for photos of you you know with your friends and uh, it's uh, in, in, impossible to describe you know how is this so horrible they are so enthusiastic their energy is really high they say they are going to win every call imagine that imagine that you know it's like absolutely horrible 
Ukraine's Ministry of Defense. Also, this is the official Ukraine's Ministry of Defense, you know. I, I can't uh, imagine how a father or a mother will feel after this kind of calls, you know. Why are they doing this? Just to instill terror in the heart of people. This is absolutely horrible, really. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm just horrified about about this, and I will advise anyone and everyone in any country in the world to just have a private profile. There is no need to have public profiles. No, absolutely no need. Really, no need. Close your profiles. This is yes, absolutely horrible, and especially Russians during this uh, time of uh, of uh, conflict. Uh, close it, uh, Ukrainians. Uh, every person in the world should close their uh, social media profiles or delete them altogether. You know, there is uh, so many possibilities for misuse so that I, I can probably even think about this. You know. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please write them in the comment section below. And as always, uh, please uh, like, share, share this video in any social media that you have available. Share it with your friends. And let's see if what will come out uh, after this, you know. So I hope to see you again in the next one. And thank you for watching.